Cooper Stadium. We are talking uh, playoffs, Colin. How about that? Absolutely. And we put it to a vote, and uh, we the vote came out that it was Eastwood receiving 50% of the votes. And they got Abilene Cooper in the by district round seven and three, the Eastwood uh, uh, district champions against the five and five uh, Cooper Cougars. Yeah, and that's right. And winners of their last six picked this game up in the first quarter. Cooper uh, first to receive the ball, and Noah Garcia taking it 50 yards for the touchdown. Coach, this is a good Cooper team that uh, people here, I, I'm sure, know about this team. Yes, they, they do have the tradition. Anytime they walk into El Paso in a playoff situation like this, you know, you, you want to step up to his best. Julio Lopez right now, if there's anybody to face off this challenge, it's him and his team. Uh, Eastwood, they fell behind 14-0 early, but they would fight back. The other Noah, Noah Rios there with the touchdown grab, but uh, Abilene Cooper would answer right back. This is Noah Garcia, Ed, again on the uh, touchdown right there, and uh, it just seemed like Eastwood in that first half, they just couldn't get enough stops defensively. Yeah, Noah Garcia was a, was a great back. I was at the game watching him. Chris Castaneda of Eastwood started off slow, but, but picked up rhythm. The, the adjustments they made uh, midway through the game certainly helped them out. No doubt about that. Turnovers were a big part in this game. There you see the touchdown there, but uh, Cooper does hold on to win this game 49-49. To 41. Let's head uh, back out to uh, Trooper Stadium. That's where we find head coach of the Eastwood Troopers, Julio Lopez. He's in our coach's spotlight. Coach Lopez, I know a disappointing loss uh, for your team in the by district round, but obviously a great season for your team. Uh, how do you kind of put that in perspective along with tonight's game, coach? Well, first off, my, my prayers and thoughts go out to the Fields family. You know, on a day where we're celebrating Texas high school football in the playoffs, it's terrible to hear that one of our one of our own, you know, passed away tragically. And so my thoughts and prayers, first of all, go out to, to their family or his family and to the, all the America's community. Um, tonight, we just made too many mistakes. Um, but to put things in perspective on the year, it's been a great year for these kids. You know, my heart is broken for these seniors because they deserve to obviously we, to move on to the next round and to keep this thing going. But to bring the first district title back to Eastwood since 94, to go 5-0 and in district, to have the year we had, um, I'm just really proud of our kids. Coach Lopez, here, Colin Deaver here in studio with you. What's going to be your favorite memory when you look back at this season, um, you know, just getting to spend that time with your kids? You know, my favorite memory, I, I just think, you know, being able to, to bring the district title home for these kids, for them to see them persevere and overcome so much. Uh, we started one and three in a tough schedule. You know, we had Plano, Midland Lee, we had Americas as our first, you know, our three losses early. But to see the kids rebound from that, beat a good Montwood team, be able to run the, the table in district and go 5-0, and oh, beat Del Valle, beat Chapin, beat good teams like that um, in our new district. I'm just going to... You know, miss all the memories that go along with the year and, and miss the journey that these seniors have taken with us the last four years. Coach, you, you said it very well as far as the stellar year that you've had. And uh, my question to you is, is, as your seniors walk away, you prepare the offseason for the upcoming season. What is the message that you give the, the, your upcoming seniors that they take away from this season? Well, for, for our kids that are still coming back, the message after the game was to continue the tradition uh, that these seniors that are leaving us started. You know, these seniors accomplished a lot in their four years. In four years here, uh, since we got hired, we won the first bi-district title since 1999. This year, we brought the first district title since 1994. So in their four years here, they've really brought Eastwood back to prominence. And the job of the kids coming up and coming back next year is to continue that. You know, our goal when we got hired is to make Eastwood an elite football program again. And this was another step in, in the process. And we truly believe that, you know, it's our kids coming back that are going to take us to the next level and hopefully continue what these seniors have, have started. Coach, Andy Morgan back with you. Thank you for taking the time with here on uh, post game. Do appreciate the time. We know we're going to see your Troopers team uh, back and even stronger next year. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me on. And, and and you guys do a great job, man. I know this is your, your last show, but I appreciate all the work that you guys put into this as well. Awesome. Thank you. That is head coach of the Eastwood Troopers, uh, Julio Lopez. And just like that, we're off and running in our nine overtime playoff edition.